and hundreds of students skipping school with one message for the Jefferson County School Board. They don't like the idea of making changes to the curriculum. At Pomona High School, it looks like school is out for the day. This was actually shot this morning. At Arvada High School, students lining the streets with signs. We're amazed by the sheer numbers of kids out there. And about 400 kids at Arvada West, they're all upset about a proposed curriculum review. It would revise AP history to promote positive aspects of U.S. heritage and avoid material on civil disorder and social strife. Well, when we asked students, they were able to tell us exactly why they walked out of class. Here's what one said. To support our teachers as well as help not change the curriculum that's being changed and keeping history, some of the history topics in schools. This is the third day that we've seen high school students holding protests. Those high school students walking out of class to protest what they may or may not learn. Jennifer Kovaleski live in Jefferson County asking the superintendent, how many more walkouts will the district tolerate, Jen? The superintendent says he will sit down with any school or student willing to have a roundtable discussion about the process. He did make clear this is not a done deal and the school board has not finalized any changes in curriculum. I do think some people are putting the cart in front of the horse and I think that's created a lot of this angst with our students. Um, that said, I do think they had some some valuable concerns that I heard from them today. Now we wanted to find out what the next steps are and what's behind these proposed curriculum changes. Here's what we found out. At the board's September 18th meeting, a resolution was submitted by board member Julie Williams to set up a committee to review curriculum for both classes. According to that resolution, the committee would be made up of nine people voted on by the board. Last week, the board decided to table any decisions until the next meeting on October 2nd. If the committee moves forward, its first action will be reviewing AP history and elementary health curriculum. The proposal does state materials should not encourage or condone civil disorder, social strife, or disregard for law. But it is important to remember no decisions have been made and will not be made until the school board meets again in October. Reporting live in Golden tonight, Jennifer Kovaleski, 7 News.